in this best of five in heaven. We show off show respect from Tony Mamalou to Caprice Coleman. It happened the last two outings. Well, Caprice Coleman is coming at this one with aggression, and he better be because he's 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 behind in the series. Two falls to one. If Mamalou wins this matchup, then Tony Mamalou takes Caprice Coleman's World Television Championship and leaves Coleman a title as a man. Mamalou has an injury here. Looks like he's got a knee injury. Tony Mamalou, a uh, well-traveled wrestler on the United States pro wrestling scene. And uh, there's no telling where that injury may have occurred. I haven't, uh, didn't get the opportunity to catch up with Mamalou earlier to ask him, and he probably wouldn't have told me anyway. No, so, it could have, could have been a shaving accident. I mean, who knows? Caprice Coleman, a few of those thrilla in Cornelia jabs reversal by Mamalouk, up and over goes Coleman, leapfrog by Mamalouk, and the knee is hurt. Coleman seizes the opportunity with a chop block. Not typical of Caprice Coleman, but in this situation, you have to. You right. have to be that aggressive. Exactly. I mean, it's truly a red flag. I mean, Mamalouk, in all honesty, was well within his rights to not participate here this evening, but try telling the Italian monster that. And the last two falls, Caprice Coleman has been knocked out. He is submitted to the Italian sleeper, the sugar hold front chantry maneuver that Tony Mamalouk put on him. Coleman trying to make Mamalouk submit now. Mamalouk taps out. He, he can't have enough. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of fall number four, tying the series at two and two, Caprice is Coleman. I may have a bad leg, and you may have just beat me in under a minute. But whether it means anything to you or not, I'm a man. And I'm not going to come out here and mistreat these fans to a horrible performance like that. You see, I'm not waiting until the 21st. The series is tied at two. Instead of waiting two weeks from now, let's settle this tonight. I don't think that's a good idea, Tony. Mama Luke with a very bum leg. That left kneecap is in serious shape. And Caprice Coleman de defeated Tony Mama Luke and not in quite less than a minute, as Tony said, but pretty darn close. Mama Luke is going to bite the bullet. And Thomas allowing the match to take place. This is match, match number, number five. five now of the Best of Five World Television Championship Series. And Coleman, like he did in the fall just previous to this, is going after that left knee of Mama Luke. Caprice Coleman back on the offensive. I've never seen Coleman quite this aggressive. Boy, that, that bad career move from Tony Mama Luke agreeing to the fifth fall immediately after losing in the fourth one. And, and you know, it might be a bad career move, Steve, and it certainly probably is not the smartest maneuver in, in all of wrestling, but uh, Tony Mamaluke is showing a lot of guts here, a lot of guts I, for one, didn't think he had, a lot of guts that a lot of wrestling fans, for one, didn't think that he had. Tony Mamaluke is, is showing what he's really made of here, and I am impressed. I've always figured Mamaluke had it down deep, I mean, that training is we've talked about, you know, ad infinitum with the, the Malenko School in Florida. I mean, you don't emerge from that school as a pansy. And no one will ever accuse Tony Mamaluke of being precisely that. But you have to seriously wonder why Mamaluke would agree to this situation under these terms here. He didn't want to wait two weeks to face Caprice Coleman again at the third anniversary show. But here this evening, after losing in just uh, this over a minute, he's going he's gonna to dig down deep and try to find whatever it takes to defeat Caprice Coleman and become the new world TV champion. Caprice Coleman going to town on Mama Luke in the corner. Is there anything left of Mama Luke? At this point, can Mama Luke even apply that Italian sleeper? Can Mama Luke even stand? That knee is it's a shambles. Caprice Coleman trying to skin his own cat here, but he's got the foot lodged. Oh my goodness. He's got his foot lodged in the turnbuckle. And that is not the turnbuckle pad. He has got his foot lodged actually inside the steel turnbuckle. 
whatever offense Mamaluk can dish on out here, it's going to have to make sure that he can do it from a sitting position. Anything to get off of that left leg. We know about Mamaluk's propensity for uh, to getting his opponents to concede. European uppercut with authority by Tony Mamaluk. And he rips the chest of Caprice Coleman to shreds with a chop. There's another. Intestinal fortitude by Tony Mamaluk. Tony Mamaluk. He was going for that Italian back suplex, that high angle back suplex. Drop toe holds Coleman on the bottom rope. But Mama Luke's leg buckled under the weight of Caprice Coleman. Why on earth is Mama Luke dropping a leg, the bad one no less, on top of Coleman? Sicilian slice leg drop by Mama Luke. And, and it's the hurt leg, too. This guy was known to be a nutcase yeah. in his ECW days. We thought he'd calm things down and changed his offense to a mat based attack here in Wildside. But however, that is not the case. No, he's certainly not in this match. He certainly is dusting off some of the uh, some of the Mama Luke of old. But I dare say here's the Tony Mama Luke version 2002 that we know and kind of sort of love. Well, it, it was that reckless style that, along with little Guido, won Tony Mama Luke World Tag Team Championship and ECW when they defeated Mikey Whipwreck and Yoshihiro Tajiri. And maybe that's what he, he he's going back to. Maybe here that's all he knows when instinct is all he knows. Maybe that's his, his pure instinct. Is that a recklessness? No, I get the impression Mama Lou can't even think straight right now. He must be going through some serious and searing pain in that left patella. I mean, let's face it. I mean, if you're a professional wrestler, anyone, even the worst one in the world, your knees hurt. In Mama Luke's case, his has to be beyond the point of excruciating pain. Multiply that by 10, and that's what you got. Coleman yeah. under the legs. Uh, Tony Mamalu goes right back to the knee. Reverse thermal shock by Caprice Coleman. I think that's it. No! Mamalu digging down deep, manages to roll a shoulder off prior to that three count. And Coleman, he's heading up to the top turnbuckle. Shoving referee Andrew Thomas at that top rope, knocking Caprice Coleman off his perch. And a Dory Funk-like forearm to Caprice Coleman. Mama Luke, for some reason, is tasting that world TV title. Now, this is not a good move. Mama Luke, you're not going to be able to hold up Coleman up there. Superplex by Tony Mama Luke, and he reversed it into the Italian sleeper. Coleman has not broken this hole in two outings. Caprice Coleman has yet to break this maneuver. He's choked him out twice. He has choked Caprice Coleman out twice, and he's no near the, nowhere near the ropes. He is, Coleman is inching his way. It looks like he's got his feet under the bottom rope, but I don't think Thomas saw it. No, but then again, too, Tony Mama Luke's shoulders are down to the mat. It's a hold he's putting on Coleman. That's the Italian sleeper. That's the Italian sleeper. Two times the hook goes down. One more, and it's over for Caprice Coleman. Coleman is fighting back, and Mama Luke is making sure his shoulders stay above that mat, too, is in the process. Caprice Coleman rolls through. Another like suplex. And charging Tony Mamalu back first into the turnbuckles. And both competitors are hurting. Mamalu perhaps worse than Coleman, but right now I'm not quite so sure. What a matchup here. These guys will go to any lengths for this World Television Championship. Both men digging down. Caprice Coleman breaking the Italian sleeper. The first time he's been able to do so. And this is now match number five. We saw match number four literally just a few moments ago here in this edition of NWA Wildside. Thermal shock by Caprice Coleman. Oh my God. 
And Caprice Coleman is still the world TV champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the best of five world television championship series, and still your world television champion, Caprice Bruce Coleman. Caprice Coleman, I tip my hat to you today. Because on one night, you've defeated Tony Mamaluke not once, but twice. And you retain your world's television title. You see, I don't make excuses. I'm not blaming this knee. You beat me. You beat me. And as hard it is for me to admit that, tonight, you were the better man. But you see, that title means more to me than you could ever understand. I understand the tradition of the National Wrestling Alliance the importance of the television title. And just because of one little knee injury, I'm not gonna stop. You see, that title, that's what I'm fighting for. It's represented by some of the greats in this sport. Telly Blanchard, Arn Anderson, and all the rest. So when I get my feet back under me, I'm coming back stronger and meaner, and yes, I will have more respect for you, but you will really see what it means to unleash the Italian monster.